Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm freaking back. It has been forever. I know. I get it. I apologize, man. But for those who have followed, know what's up. I was on tour for about two months. Before that, I was doing rehearsals for two months. So I'm sorry, y'all. I couldn't vlog. But I'm back. I'm back. But today, because I'm back and I'm trying to get back into the groove of things, we're going to keep it kind of chill. All right? Kind of chill. Um, first and foremost, when I got back, I ended up buying another set of rotor wheels. I'm buying all these rotor wheels to have one or two cars, but it's cool because I could swap rims and have a different look whenever the heck I feel like it. Let me show you guys what I purchased. And here they are. Another set of rotors. You guys know I love me some damn rotor wheels, man. These are called, I believe, the Rota Group N, which is like the Mugen, I believe, R&R &R reps. And believe me when I tell you, I don't care that they are reps. I'm not spending that crazy amount of money on a set of rims. Those that don't know now, I have the Rota Slipstreams. I have the Rota Circuit 8. I have the Rota Auto Xs. And now I have the Rota Group Ns. Got all four for 300 bucks. None of them, they obviously are just dirty and nasty. So one of these videos, I'll take the tires off and get to, uh, you know, restoring them. Let me know. Let me know down in the comments what color I should paint them. I already have a color in my brain of what I might go with. But um, put it down below and let me know what you guys think. And now to continue with today's video, it's, uh, it's a little bittersweet of what I'm going to be talking about today. Um, first, let's uncover the Civic. Let's uncover the Civic first. Okay, so here she is. 2000 Honda Civic sedan J35A which is the J-Spec, it's the JDM J35. Um, it's been a lot on my brain. I've been thinking about it a lot, a lot, a lot. And I think I'm going to try and sell the Civic. I obviously don't want to, but right now, I think it's probably best that I do because I don't have a garage. I think if I had a garage, and somewhere to really um, put it away until I finish the CRX, I would most definitely keep it because I really don't want to get rid of it. But I'm, I'm just up in the air. And I think if I get the correct offer for it, I would definitely um, probably let it go. Now, I will not let go of the wheels um, because Obviously, those are one of my favorite wheels, so I don't want to get rid of those wheels. If you're watching this and you want it, you bring your own steelies. The cool thing is, it has a bunch of goodies on it that I'm obviously going to let it go with the whole purchase. Um, it's not going to be just the car. It's literally the whole project. So if you're looking for a J35 Civic project, this is it. Let me show you guys some of the things that I have for it, or um, I'll show you the things that I've bought for it that are still in the car that's going to go with it. Here, Chase Bay's tucked radiator. It's still brand spanking new because, as you guys know, I haven't been messing with the Civic at all. Here, I have the P2R uh, EGR um, delete like kit. So the EGR is gone and you always, obviously you would have to um, plumb all of the coolant stuff. Also got the Hasport motor mounts, which are for the, um, it has the two different like levels. You can go high or you can go lower. What else do I have? I have the hybrid um, race cables, another P2R piece for the cables themselves. What else is out here? Um, oh, PLM. I have the PLM traction bar here up in the front. Again, all these parts are brand new. They've just been sitting on the car. 
again if you are interested the steelies uh you'd have to bring your steelies because these auto x's i am keeping let's go inside inside here you have i need the k-tuned um lower piece which i have okay let me explain this little issue so when i first bought the k-tuned shifter i actually bought it for the tsx and not the rsx so things weren't obviously lining up and fitting correctly so i didn't want to go and spend another four or five hundred dollars on a freaking um shifter so i went with the max peating rod one and from what i'm looking at and what i hope i connected correctly that is the correct one but the bottom plate the k-tuned one is coming off and the max speeding one is going on underneath so like i said this max speeding rod um shifter stays the k-tuned lower plate that you see right there is coming with me and so is that shifter that shifter stays also i did remove the gas tank a while back and put in a fuel cell once again everything's brand spring everything is brand spanking new haven't touched any of it i just been little by little working on it and uh i started putting in the fuel filter and the fuel pump fuel filter is a uh i'm probably gonna say the name wrong but it's a Dej works 110 and then i also have the Dej works oh man i forgot this one uh what size pump it was but uh it was a big boy obviously i will leave that in here as well that can stay that will go as well i do have both fenders for it i do have the front bumper as well and as you guys saw in the car well you might have seen them i do have headlights for it as well um i do have a key oh that's right i have also have an si gauge cluster that i bought a while back for this i do have this whole centerpiece i have the glove box i pretty much have all the interior stuff um i don't think i have the door panels anymore i don't remember but pretty much like your center console plastics i have um i don't remember if i do or don't have these door panels i think i do but don't quote me you can see i started to do i was going to do a wire tuck um, oh that's right shoot i have the aem v2 ecu for this so it comes with that as well and then i also have i don't rem i want to say it's wireworks but it could be y rye wire but i'm almost positive it's wireworks wire harness for this as well for this application so you're getting you're getting the motor you're getting the um mounts cables shifter trans um chase bay's tucked radiator mishimoto um slim fans you're getting the shifter you're getting the fuel cell fuel filter fuel pump um obviously the headlights like i said fenders bumper ecu and the harness tucked harness as well it's not, not just a random harness that i bought from them i got it tucked so all of that if you're looking for a project and you don't want to like source everything out yourself this is it man I'm, I'm i'm ready i'm ready i just need a really really good offer there's no frame like there's no damage to the frame the body's in one to ten i would give it a an eight there's nothing that's like seriously rotting away or rusting away um it also has it also has those are just cheap ebay um rear like you know subframe support and lower control arms um, i hope you can see them from here but those are cheap ebay ones that i ordered a long time ago because the ones that were on there were crusty 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 and i just wasn't ready to spend on like you know some serious ones like skunk 2 or you know any of those other brands that are out there i wasn't ready for that yet
I honestly think, man, if you are interested, you're going to get a really dope freaking project. Um, my uh, initial idea was going to actually be to make it a four-door hatch that you've seen now. They're getting more and more like popular and more and more people are actually doing it. But I was eventually going to do that four-door hatch with J35 all-wheel drive on boost. That was the plan, and it still is. If for some reason I don't sell it and it stays with me for longer, eventually that's what it's going to be. Notice the um, the like side skirt is missing. I also have it. It's in my container. So guys, I have a lot of the stuff for this car, for this project. I just started losing slight interest because I've been working on the CRX now for so much longer. And then, what you think? Tell YouTube, keep the CRX or keep this one? The my dog, my dog. See guys, if you're interested, man, let me know. Let me freaking know, cause uh, you're gonna get a really dope project car um, with a lot of goodies that already are here. Let me try to show you guys more now, like the body. Let me um, focus more on the body, not so much on the parts. So you guys can see that the body is in pretty damn good condition. Like I said, one out of 10. 10 being immaculate, one being a piece of junk. I would honestly say an eight. This car is not, not bad. Sorry that I can't get too much on this side, but I'm gonna try my best. Obviously it does need some body work. This side skirt is on. Like I said, I have the other side skirt here, but it is intact. Everything is intact. You just need a little bit of work or if you're gonna use it for a track car then do what you do both fenders again I have both fenders and I have the front bumper they are in my container so no working really on this cars but uh, it's a slow little um, uh, uh, transition as to me getting back into the whole groove of things of recording videos and whatnot so let me know in the comments if you guys are interested um, or in the description, I'll also put my Instagram. If you need to hit me up, DM me, any other questions on it, let me know, man. It's it's here and it's ready. So hopefully next video, we actually go back to working on the CRX. Because um, you already know, man, we need to get that thing up and running. Uh, got more parts that I ordered for it. So we need to get her done like yesterday. As always, man, you guys know what it is. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Hit the notification button. It's going to help me out with the algorithms so that more people can see these videos. Y'all know the vibes. Chase the dream, not the competition. Peace. Peace, y'all.